Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to create a simple graph using Excel. So first you want to click and drag or highlight all of your data. So select your data, make sure your X values are on the left and Y on the right. Go up to insert and choose scatter. Choose the one at the top left corner. That will create, as you can see, a scatter plot graph. So right click and go down to move chart. That's generally the first thing you want to do. It'll just move it onto its own sheet. So you can go new sheet, you can name it whatever you want, like graph, click OK, and it will open it up in a new sheet for you. A new sheet is essentially a new tab. As you can see, your tabs are on the bottom left corner. So let's customize it. First thing you want to do is get rid of the legend. Simply left click and backspace. Next, you want to go up to Layout, as you can see at the top, and have all your options. Let's start with the chart title. You can choose either of the two, Centered Overlay Title or Above Chart. I choose this one just so I can show you how to resize the graph should you need it. So, you can put in your chart title. As you can see, I've written Figure 1, period. Now, you always need to have that, Figure 1 or Figure 2 or whichever number it is, and then a period and then a good descriptive title for your graph, stating both the independent and the dependent variable. Of course everything has to be capitalized and you put a period at the end. So here as you can see I need to resize my chart, so simply click and drag. Easy as that. So next let's put in axis titles, as you can see right beside chart title. You have both your vertical and your horizontal chart title. Horizontal simply goes right underneath the graph, but vertical, you have a couple options, so you want rotated title. Click on that. As you can see, it'll put a text box in there for you. And again, you can click to resize. Click and drag to resize your graph. So, double click on your axis titles, and you can name your axis. Don't forget your units. As you can see, I have absorbance here and that doesn't have units. But down on the bottom, I put concentration and that does have units. In this case, it's parts per million. Very, very important. Don't forget your units. So I always find the axis title is automatically a little bit small, so I just up the size a little bit so it's more legible. You don't have to do that, though. We'll go back to layout. We'll continue. So we've done axis title, chart title, now we'll do grid lines. So click on it, and again you have horizontal and vertical, and you want major and minor grid lines for both the horizontal and the vertical. Major and minor grid lines. As you can see, it puts it in there for you. Next, we'll add the tread line. So simply go tread line, and linear is what I want in this case. So I click on it and it automatically puts it in. You can go more tread line options at the bottom because you will want the equation of the tread line as you can see at the bottom of the options. Display equation and the R squared value should you need it. Check the boxes, click close and it'll put it in there for you. Next, make sure your axis display the proper sig figs, and for that you'll need to go back to your numbers. As you can see here, they do not show sig figs. Simply select, right click, and go down to format cells. So again, now select, right click, and format cells. And this will open up. Click number, and you can up the number of decimal places that you need. In this case, it's, oh, it's three. There we go. Okay. As you can see, it adjusts it there. And again, so select your data, right click, go format cells, go to number, and up your decimal places. As you can see, it added in that zero there. So proper sig figs. And of course, everything you do on that sheet will automatically follow over to your graph. As you can see, the axes have proper sig figs. So, very, very important step here that you're going to want to do. Go over to Insert, 
text box and simply put in your name, student ID, and the date. So if I went a little bit fast again, it's you go up to Insert, Text Box, Insert your text box, and put the date. And there you have it. One last thing, if you do want to adjust your axis, major or maximum or minimum, or your grid lines, you can simply right click on your axis, go format axis, and there are your options should you choose to adjust them, your minimum, maximum, your major grid line units, or your minor grid line units. As you can see there, I changed it and it automatically adjusted it on my graph. And you can adjust the grid lines as well should you want more squares. So again, I'll just show you how to do it. So right click on your axis, go down to format axis, and you can adjust any of these settings. If you want your tread line to take up more of the page, say if you don't want the graph to start at zero, any of those options will work. And there you have it. As always, good luck and have fun!